What's going on my fellow web developers? My name is Tyler Potts and in today's video we are going to be looking into animating our web page, a standard HTML page when you scroll down it using something called the Intersection Observer API. Now you can see we've got that on screen and what this does is basically allows you to check whether an element of the DOM is within few. Uh, you can check percentages, so you can say if it's 50% in, 25% in, um, and it's really good. So if we scroll down here, you can see some of the options here. Uh, and how you create a new observer. So you create an observer, you give it a callback, which is the function you want to run when this element, when any element which is in the observer is um, on the screen. And the options here, you've got a root. So this would be the root element, the element or the scroll area. So if you've got like a, a nested scrolling element, you could also do it inside of this nested scrolling element. Um, root margin, I believe this is just to um, margin around the root. So if you want to make sure there's some percentage, so it gives it uh, some protective values. Um, so before it scrolls in, there's some margin padding, whatever it is. Uh, that is, uh, you can set that so it knows about the margin. Uh, and then you've also got the threshold. Now, the threshold is the percent of the element you want inside of the um, inside of your viewport before it runs. So you could say one, which means it needs the whole element needs to be there. So if you've got a square, the whole square needs to be visible before this function will run. You could also set it to zero. It means when a single pixel comes in or when it literally first starts coming in, it will run the callback. Now that is how it works. It's really cool. Um, so let's just jump into some code. So I've got official studio code open here in a blank um, thing. What does it say? Index.html. Uh, and in here, we're just going to create a blank HTML element. I'm sh I just press exclamation mark tab in VS Code to generate all of this. Now, in our document, let's just say, uh, well, this could just be animate on scroll. We're then going to create a main.css file. Uh, we're just going to do some really basic resets, margin zero, padding zero, and box sizing, border box. Um, would also we'll set the font family of everything to be sans serif just so it's not all curly um, and then we're going to give a background and the background color we're going to use a dark gray maybe something like a 323442 this is a random color picked out a thing and we'll give um, the color of everything to be white obviously we want to be able to see any text we write on screen um, and there you go so we've got this we're then going to create a uh, we're going to call it a section we'll use sections and in the sections uh, perfect we're just going to center everything into the middle for now so let's go in here let's just create a main this is just what a wrapper I'm using and then we're going to create a section um, and we'll just put a h1 in here and just say hello world like this we'll create another section and in here we'll do a h2 that just says about us a paragraph with a lorem ipsum of 20 there you go so now we have two sections let's see what this looks like um we'll go in here we'll say npm run oh we ain't using npm my bad my brain's elsewhere we're gonna say npx now if you have a node or uh, the npm installed you can use this if not you might just want to double click open up your html file straight from the folder i'm just gonna run npx you can even run surf or live surfer um i use live surfer i just find it easier to run uh, and now this should create us a mini surfer, a local surfer. Here we go, that we can see here. So there we go, we've got that. Now our CSS isn't loading because we need to actually link it inside of here. Uh, and I'm just gonna say main.css there, save. And there you go, you can see here we have this and as we scroll, we've got this. Oh, that content, we need to do a little flex direction column. There we go. You can see here we've got two different sections here. Um, super simple, nice little color in the background. Cool. All right, now, oh, don't start debugging. Uh, back in the main.css, we're going to add a dot animate on scroll. Um, and this is just going to set an opacity to zero, a transform, translate. Um, We'll say translate x of minus like say 300 pixels and uh transition or one ease i actually want to use ease out um so it comes in there we go and also that one second that's way too long let's do 0 0.4 it needs to be quite quick we want it to animate in pretty quick 
Um, and we should probably give this a transition delay. Now, I'm going to do this um, slightly out. I'm just going to say, oh, I'm going to do this in its own thing. And I'm just going to say 0 0.2 seconds delay. Just so when we start scrolling in, it doesn't animate straight away. It takes about 0.2 seconds and then it'll animate in. Uh, and that's it. We're just going to now take this and we can add it to an element. So let's just do it with our H2 here. So we give this a class, animate on scroll. Uh, no one's going to work yet because we actually have to um, add the JavaScript, the intersection API. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say main.js um, and let's just go back here and we're just going to go under here, create a script with a source and call it main.js. Now to test this is working, just alert saying, say a test, uh, go back and there we go. We've already got tests showing up on screen every time we refresh, there we go. And you can see the about us is no longer appearing on the screen because we've got it hidden. Let's close this, remove this. So first things what we're going to do is we're just going to say, we're going to get a content, we're going to get all the elements we want to animate. So I'm going to say anim, animate on or animate el elements, animation elements. There you go. And then we're just going to say document dot query selector all. And we're going to look for the dot uh, animate on scroll we added in our HTML there. Um, another thing we want to do is now create our intersection or our observer. So we're going to say const observer is equal to a new intersection observer. Uh, and then we're going to have a callback. Now the callback is going to take in entries and the entries are going to be all the elements that uh, it's looking for. Um, and we can do here... I'm just going to disable Copilot because it's, it's doing all the work for me. Uh, disable for JavaScript. Uh, and we don't need it. So I just want to say entries dot for each. Uh, and now we're going to do another callback and we'll call it an entry. And we're just going to say if entry dot is intersecting, meaning it's in few, um, what we're going to do is run code here. So we're going to say entry dot target dot class list and then dot... We, I just realized we need an animate uh, something to actually call once it's done. So here you go. There's the animate, which we're just going to call. And we'll say classes.add animate. And this is just going to animate in our element. So that should hopefully do it. We can also do an else, right? And then if it's not, we can actually remove this class. Um, and that way, once we scroll away from it, it will actually then reanimate when we scroll back in. Um, now, this is all good. This is what we need for this. We can also add in our options here. We could add in the threshold. Um, threshold. And we're going to set this to 0 0.5. So we want at least 50% of the element to be in the screen before it starts animating so we can actually see it. Because um, the default is 0, meaning as soon as a pixel in, it will start animating. Um, so we want to at least be 50% on screen before we then just start throwing it on page so you don't miss the animation. Um, now we've got that, we now need to add all of the elements into our observer. We need to make sure the observer is observing the animation elements. To do that, we can just say observer. .obs well, sorry, we need to loop for our anim uh, elements first. So I'm going to say for let i equals zero. We're just going to use a simple for loop. We're going to say animation elements dot length, or if i is less than animation length i plus plus. And we can say const element is equal to animation elements i. And then we could say observer.observe element. Just like that. Now that's done. Let's just go back, refresh. We're going to open up our console to make sure there's no errors. Just a Fafacon error. That's all fine. I also accidentally full screen. Now as we scroll in, you can see that animated in. Now if we scroll back out and we come back down, you can see it animates back in because we use the... We took it off. So you can see here, we actually take off the element. Now, if we don't have this, um, and we just come in, uh, let's start at the top here. We scroll down, it comes in. If we scroll back out and come back down, it's still in. So that might be something you want. Maybe you don't always want things coming in and out. You just want it when they first see it, it comes in. That's also something I actually prefer it like this. But for the purpose of this demo, I want to be able to scroll up and down and see it constantly coming in and out. Um, and we can add now this to absolutely any of our elements. So let's get this and add it there. Uh, and let's go and create a new section as well underneath this section. Uh, let's just give it a H2 and call it uh, my portfolio. 
Uh, and we'll do something a little fun here. We'll say class, we'll just give this the same class, animate on scroll. But what else we want to do is we want to go here and we'll just create a little bo box this um, class and we'll just give box times three in here. So we're going to have three boxes in our boxes. Let's actually add this. So boxes, um, we're just going to say, yeah, display freck. We don't need a wrap. We're not going to go mobile or anything. Just by content center. Um, and then we'll say dot box. Uh, literally something like that. I think that'll work. Uh, we could randomize colors, but let's leave it at that for now. Margin, 10 pixels. We'll do zero pixels, 16 pixels, something like that. Let's go down, down. There you go. We've got our three boxes here, right? Uh, let's just give for H2's... Uh, H2, margin, bottom, one, rem. And there you go. That's looking a lot better. So now as we scroll down, we get this animating. You can see those two animating after we come down this title animating. But we want the boxes to animate in too. So let's go here and let's just say, let's add the class and see what happens. So let's get this. Animate each box individually as we come in. So let's go down here. Let's slowly scroll through. We get our about us title. If we scroll down, we get our boxes. But the boxes all come in one or all at once they all come in at the same time which isn't very fun so something we can do is we can add a delay to each box so what we want to do is down here we can say box nth child and let's just say the first one so the first one we can just actually the first one we can leave as it is because it'll just come in straight away we can then say uh transition delay of instead of 0 0.2 we can say 0 0.4 seconds um, and then we can do the third child at six seconds. Um, or we can do this the other way round, but we'll see what happens now. So let's scroll up to the top. Let's refresh. Let's scroll down. So we get the first. And you can see they all come in after each other in a kind of cool way. So from it looks like it comes from behind, each box comes from behind the other box, which looks pretty cool. Um, and there you go. So that's some different ways you can animate on scrolling using the intercept observer it's that simple and you can even add custom transitions for each element so let's say you want to add a custom one instead of doing this so you've got animate on scroll which just brings it in from the left we could take the animate on scroll um, and we could actually remove all of this and add in a different class let's say um animate on something else so we could what we got here so Instead of animating on scroll, you could say animate from the top down. You could say, let's do a different one then. So let's just say dot animate top down. Um, uh, and we'll just say, so we'll do the opacity zero. And this time it's just going to be white. So it's the same thing, but using the Y axis. Um, and this, we can actually set to translate zero. Translate zero Y translate 300 zero so there you go so this should just now work on its own if we just say animate top down go back into our element and let's just say the boxes now animate from top down right let's go back let's see what happens refresh scroll that comes in here our boxes didn't animate in that's because we have obviously we're only searching for animate on scroll so i believe we can do dot animate top down like this in our thing so we're going to search for both we could probably just there you go so let's just refresh scroll down we get our about us still coming in and then we get our boxes falling down from the top one by one which is pretty cool the delay is still there it's all still working fine which looks great so there you go so if we just refresh you can see that animates from the side and they animate down so you can do a bunch of different animations you can mix this up and try a bunch of different things if you want um but that's going to be it for this video guys i just want to keep it simple so to show you how you can actually use the intersection observer api to actually animate stuff on scroll really easily i hope you've learned something new if you have don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you're new around here do not forget to hit that subscribe button it really does help even that like button if you want to hit that like button because you enjoyed it it helps the channel out a lot guys leave a comment down below if you have any questions or anything like that you got you're confused or anything leave a comment down below or if you get stuck and you want uh, some advice you need some help with your code hop in the discord server the link will be down below and you'll be able to join us 
uh, to actually get. Um, there's a forum and you can post your, uh, your issue and someone will be there to help you. There's a bunch of really helpful people there. Um, so just hop in and join us. And finally, guys, don't forget, I have memberships on this channel. So if you want more content, you want a special Discord role, you want me to answer your comments as soon as possible. Um, and there's a few other perks. You can actually have a look at that in the um, description uh, or in the Met join button. There's a join button. You click it, it'll tell you what the perks are you can get on the channel. Uh, check that out, guys. And thank you for watching this video. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.